all right so today i'm gonna be doing first oil change and i'm gonna be putting in an additive to see if we're gonna stop the smoking i got the shit jacked up and that's coming from this boot on this side this axle so yeah it might be transmission fluid awesome starting to realize i could have got this car for a lot cheaper but first things first i'm just gonna get that plastic piece off the cover the oil filter is so i found it somewhere back there it's like right back there gotta pop that shit off and then um yeah, gonna drain the oil and then hopefully get the kill switch in today too all right so update i did need to take out that plastic piece because i jacked the carbon up on this side to access the drain hole the drain plug and the oil filter is like up there and shout out the region and grab it but i'm gonna let the oil drain completely completely i'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and um that shit was a bitch though had a use a wrench and a mallet to unhook that shit the oil came out like black as shit so i'm pretty sure it's been a minute for the oil change so it's gonna be good this is getting fresh oil i'm putting all five quarts in the bottle and i went heavier i went 10w40 instead of the uh, the called 5w30 and i'm gonna put the um additive in there so i'll make sure she runs very smooth and um, I like Castro, I like GTX, I ran it on my uh, Maximum when I had it as a kid, so I'm going to let that drain completely and then uh, get the oil filter out, put the new one on, that one's going to be a bit of a messier job, so I'm probably going to need to get um, my adjustable wrench to oh, get up in there and grab it and twist it out, so yeah, I'm not going to show none of that because there's enough videos on YouTube for that, so I'll be back once so uh, Pretty much putting the oil in and starting the car. Man, you ain't a real Puerto Rican if you don't drink this, man. For real. All right, well, everything got done. It turned to a whole shit show. Decided not to record none of it. My hands were like oily and greasy as shit. Got the whole five core oil in. Got the oil treatment in. About to put the cap on and start it up. So I turned it on. It was a huge smoke show. Still doing a little bit of smoking. I'm just gonna let the car run for a while, see what happens, rev it up. But the engine does sound a lot quieter though, I'm not gonna lie. It sounds a lot quieter with the thicker oil and the oil additive. So at least that's helping a little bit. I'm gonna see what happens with the smoke, see if it goes away entirely. Then if it goes away entirely, or you know, down to the bare minimum like it is right now. I'm gonna turn it off, try to let the car cool down again, then crank it back up but so now if this shit doesn't go away um i may or may not put the kill switch in because i'm like do i feel like wasting my time putting a kill switch in on a car that's not gonna go anywhere but i might just put it in just to put it in and get it out of the way and over with and shit so we're gonna see all right turned it off waited about 10 minutes just turned it back on and no smoke so, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off, let it cool down. I'm gonna clean all this shit up because then uh, we're gonna get to installing the kill switch. So, I did a lot of off camera work for the JDI kill switch. Um, all you're gonna need is, I believe that's an 8 mil for these two. Yep, 8 mil. Pop these out. You're gonna need a Phillips head to pop out the screw, a side panel right here, and then just get a um, plastic uh, pry bar uh, for trim panels and shit, and just pop everything out so it can expose this bolt to the main relay in which the kill switch is going to be replacing and hooking up to now i already take a peek inside but i still kept pretty everything pretty much together for y'all so we can also do like an unboxing you know you got a nice little reasons why from jdi don't mind my 
fucking annoying ass dog barking. Ooh. I got my info on it, bitch. I don't try to cut that out if I can. And then this is the everything. So this is what is gonna that plug is gonna go into here. So that plug is gonna go into there. Then we just remove that and this is it. So she wrote. Then we just mount this up and then uh run the kill unplug that, run the kill switch. I've already seen a little something somethings already, a few videos. This is the long ass kill switch wire. Comes with some uh, zippy ties. And then, obviously a thank you card. Thank you for your order. Um, they said this is professional installation is recommended. And then, get a nice little sticker. So I will be putting this sticker on my PlayStation. Because that's the only thing that collects all my stickers. So, oh shit, it's my little fiber. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this out and plug everything in. Alright, first things first, I forgot to put a warning that you should probably have the negative lead on your battery disconnected just in case. But here is, I'm just going to test it right now to make sure everything is straight with just the relay, no kill switch. Make sure that we are running 100% normal, no issues, no problems. Alright, there we go. As long as she turns on, we're good to go. So now I am going to plug in the kill switch just temporarily right here and make sure this works 100%. Alright, got this plugged in. So it's got the two wires. You disconnect them and connect them to the single switch. I do want to say that the build quality of all this is like top tier. I'm just going to put that out there right now that the quality of this product is worth the money plug and play and it's pretty much budget friendly on top of it this shit is awesome so let's see so that's on turn the car completely off flip the switch oh and there we go she no working. Yep. It's like it gives them false hope. Yep. Alright. So now, flip the switch back. And we are back to normal. Alright, so I was given a pretty good recommendation to tuck everything away to hide every single little thing possible. So that's what I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to 100% do that off camera and not show y'all shit. I'll be right back once I'm 100% done. Bruh, all I'm going to say is thank God for the power of editing because legit it's been like two hours later um everything is done tucked away um i mean well i was just showing you that because you know, it works everything is back in one piece everything looks like it ain't messed with so that's how it's supposed to be but legit took me a couple hours because I found a location, had to do a little bit of, you know, tweaking with and finagling and more thinking, but got it done. And it's a proof to you that got it all set up, working straight. Shit, battery died. Oh damn. 
No. No, there we go. Battery didn't die. So yeah, there you go. And then because hell no, not gonna know where my switch is. Boom. And just like that. Good to go. And that is the install of the JDI kill switch. But here we go, that's gonna go up there to the parts wall. Yeah guys, that's all done. I'ma park her up now, 100%, and be done. So, now, that clean out oil spot. And I'ma get back to working on the bike now. Well, here we are.